you need to bleep that. <laughs> yeah, this is just the one. This is not even on the one on one drills we want to get started on. Well, it felt good throwing myself around onto the ground. Definitely the training session was uh, well structured and well organized. It went smoothly, time passed really quickly. I wish that uh, it was more than two hours. I mean, it was pretty intensive. So if, if it's more than two hours, I don't think I would be able to last that long. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel smashed. I feel great. I feel pain all over now. Not extreme pain, but uh, aches uh, here and there. Because of this, I feel very alive, right? Uh, if without the, the pain and ache, I would, I would feel numb. On my way to football, I'm going to join a football training session today. Um, it's a goalkeeper training session actually. I injured my finger like three months ago and uh, it's recovering. But I still don't have the full range of movement on my uh, ring finger. Yeah, early in the morning, it, it gets really stiff and I can't really bend it all the way down. I need to flex it. Uh, uh, a little bit to be able to close all my fingers and when it's closed it would in order to open it right it will just click I think this is called a trigger finger so that's the problem and it's been three months uh, recovering slowly and today is the first time I'm going to put on my gloves again and catch some balls let's see how it goes the coach for today is Jose. He has a channel too, a YouTube channel. Um, it's called Jose in Gold. I'll put a link in the description. You can check out his channel. So I'm gonna take it easy. I uh, don't want to hurt my finger again. So I'm gonna take it easy today and uh, see how things goes. Looks like the warm-up has already started. The same position, right? He could go uh, near post, far post, you can cut it back near to it now. Brand new gloves. Um, first time using this for training. This has the flex frame, finger safe. Who spot calls it the flex frame. <laughs> so, uh, here are the participants for today's training. We have... Hi, Jose. Hi, Fast. Fast is the trainee. Simon is the, Simon. Yeah, the, one of the coaches as well. That's great. So let's start. Okay, cool. Coming here, the volley. We'll do five of these inside the Simon. That's a that straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Get low. Nice! Nice! Set! 
Set, set. Nice. Very good. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. That's it. Ah. Boom. Good save, good save. You got hand to it. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the yellow set. <laughs> Dance, man. <laughs> How do you feel? Fast? <laughs> you need to bleep that. <laughs> okay, this last part of our warm up drills is high balls. Ah, this is only warm up. <laughs> yeah, this is just the warm up. <laughs> this is not even on the one on one drills we want to get started on. <sighs> so, what we try and do with the warm up drills is just cover as much of the basics as possible, like plenty of handling, a bit of diving, some high balls. Well, or where else would you go to be able to practice that? Because you don't want to practice all these in the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I came here. I do want to focus on technique, but if you're also getting a lot of conditioning out of it, that's great. <laughs> good, 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 good. Good, 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 Good. 
Good. Second shot. Second shot. Good. 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 Drop back. Drop back. Shoot. Good. Go. Second shot. Second shot. Still up. Oh. I couldn't see it by I think you pushed it. Go. Super tight. Super tight. Ready? Go! Good. Get to it, get to it. Okay, I'll play. Second shot. Done. Drop, drop. Still alive. Second shot. Well done. Second shot. Drop back. Well done. Okay, second shot. Set. Still alive. Still alive. Great. Well done. Good save. Second shot. Recently I've rethought and I'm trying to actually do it for just so do two groups but one hour each. Yeah. Yeah, we should stick to it. Two hours. Bus, do you wanna share your thoughts about the training? How do you feel right now? I feel like I feel that 
be good improve our stamina a bit more. Yeah, definitely. Same for me. Yeah, <laughs> because I think we didn't last. We were huffing and puffing, and then we almost didn't make it. <laughs> How long have you been goalkeeping? It's been so long. How old are you now? I'm 45. 45. I've been playing goalkeeper since I was 14. Oh, cool. Yeah. Each new level. And then. And then I get old. Then I grow old. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. There are still a lot of uh, veteran games yeah. around, right? So Playing socially join. right now, also, because sometimes very hard to uh, keep up. Yeah. <laughs> the games are so much different. Who would have thought that sweeper keeper would be an in thing right now? Back then there was sweeper keeper, but now it becomes a very big role. Last time sweeper keeper is just because I want to show off my ball skill, <laughs> want to dribble, pass, yeah, defense, like Rene, Higita, and all. But now <laughs> I want to dribble also, don't know can or not. Yeah. But it makes the game more interesting for the goalkeeper as well. Yeah, yeah. the keeper Small don't shot stay passes, there. touches. Mm. Passing back to the goalkeeper. But I believe everybody has basic playing from the control back. skill. Yeah. yeah. Last time it's always the fat guy who stays inside the goalpost. <laughs> what do you have to say to fat guys who wants to be goalkeeper or, or for that matter anybody uh, who wants to play in goal? Never give up. Love the game. Enjoy the game. No matter what shape and sizes you are. Enjoy. Life is short. YOLO. Play. Yes, play the game. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. Hope, hope you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you have seen. Like and share. come like down and join us for the training <laughs> session. <laughs> like and share. <laughs> yeah, like and share, like and share. Join us, join Jose, our main coach, for this training session. Jose? Jose. Oh, Jose, 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 Jose anything. Just woke up and I uh, had my breakfast and I'm here. Um, just wanted to give a summary of the training session yesterday evening. So after the training, I was uh, totally smashed, very tired. Um, got home, had my dinner, washed up and then uh, very quickly went to sleep. So um, and when I woke up this morning, thought I would, uh, I would give a summary of um, what I think about the gloves and how the training went. Well, the training went really well. Um, I loved it. Uh, it's been like three months since I have been goalkeeping. As uh, if you watch my other videos, you would have known that uh, I've been playing outfield for the past three months because of my finger injury. Um, it's much better now, but I still, like I said uh, at the start of the video, and I'm still having trouble like in the morning, like closing my finger, my ring finger all the way down, and even stretching it open. Smoothly, that's a problem. Still a problem. I have jets flying over, um, overhead, all the time, so it's a problem recording a video here. Um, all right. So where was I? So I was talking about my finger injury. So yeah, wearing the Wool Sport gloves. It has a flex frame, finger safe, gives me a bit of confidence, and I had to also do a wrap around my finger to stabilize it um, but the thing is that as I was training and catching the high balls I jammed my middle finger not serious just a little bit if you can see a bit of redness over here yep not serious but I can feel that uh, it's a bit sore but it's not serious it will uh, get better very soon and uh, thumb also a little stretched so yeah anyway the flex frame right for ooh spot doesn't have a protection on the thumb and another thing I noticed is that the flex frame is really flexible as you can see you can flex all the way back yep so I'm not sure how effective how effective it is I'm sure some of you may swear by it that uh, Ulspot is the best yeah I, I, I really think the grip and everything it's this is a basic glove it's the soft um, like maybe the the, the one of the lower tier um, latex but the grip is 
pretty good, pretty good. I won't say it's the best because it's not in the top range, but it is still good enough for me. Yep. And, and, and another thing is that uh, during training, so I, I scuffed it a little bit. Uh, this is inevitable. Even the best latex would be scuffed if uh, we don't take care of it. As in, we don't. If we land and then we slide our palm on the artificial turf or even natural grass if it's a hard ground yeah you will get scuffed so um, always always remember not to use your palm to support your landing yep. so once I saw the scuff I gave myself a mental note to not to land and land on my palm ever again during the training and so that's the only time I scuffed the pump and uh, for my right hand is is fine yeah so as I was talking about the flex frame so for for other brands their finger save is uh, individual spines across all the fingers including the thumb right for all spots it doesn't have uh, protection for the thumb and there's another spine that stretches across connecting all this uh, connecting the individual fingers so what they say is that uh, when there's a uh, impact the impact is spread across the entire frame and I think that's why they call it the flex frame but um, as I said as I noticed the flex frame for this is it's pretty flexible as you can see you can bend all the bend, bend it all the way back um, I mean, I have a pair of gloves that is the RG gloves, okay, with individual spines. It doesn't, it doesn't flex backwards, right? And of course, you can flex forwards, but uh, it doesn't allow you to flex backwards. So if you flex to a certain uh, limit, it just stops there. So that's the difference between the uh, spot and uh, the rest of the finger safe system. And so I'm aching all over. Even though I feel pain all over, I feel very alive. Yeah. I I don't know why, but if you are if you are also a goalkeeper, probably you would understand too. Yeah. After a training session, you feel really tired, and then you go to sleep. The next morning, you wake up. You feel pain all over, but you feel very very alive. I think that's the magic of playing the goalkeeping position. What do you think? Share your thoughts with me in the comments and other viewers will be able to chime in and have a discussion too. So that's it for sharing my thoughts in the morning and I will see you again soon.